feels good, one guy, thank you. Woo. If you've never seen a magic show before, let me help you out here. It's, it's super simple. It goes like this. You guys are going to love it. You guys uh, are going to like it. And you guys are going to learn a lot. <laughs> magic show, magic lessons right there. <laughs> so if you see something, just shut the fuck up, okay? Before I get started here, I want you guys to know something about me. Uh, as a magician, it's very important you understand this. I hate kids. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> like so much. Um, <laughs> no, because as a magician, you're supposed to do, do shows with kids sometimes. I, I, I never really, didn't really work for me, honestly. Uh, I tried once, and the kids, they don't, they're smart in stupid ways, okay? <laughs> And it, it, with magic, it's one of those things. Like a perfect example for, with a kid. If I have a, uh, I do a do red ball trick with a kid, right? And I vanish the ball, he's like, it's in the other hand. And he'd be right, you know? <laughs> like it's, <laughs> uh, they, they, they don't understand physical reality very well. Or, um, or maybe they do, but they don't like, they don't play along. They don't suspend their disbelief. They don't do uh, any of that, you know? Uh, as adults, if, if something, we understand how the world works. And if something doesn't work that way, we're like, Mind blown, right? Like same same trick with a same ball, same trick with with a with a grown up right there, right? Uh, watch very closely, sir. Right? Which hand is it in? This one? <laughs> right? It's in, it's in both. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I wasn't gonna risk it with you, honestly. Uh, so I do uh, have to do these. Oh, the hardest part is putting them away. I don't know why. So just pin the ass. Thank you. <laughs> so I had to do this festival show with these kids there, and I'm trying to put these balls away, and they're freaking out, right? And uh, like they were really freaking out. You guys right now, they were really freaking out. <laughs> then I just, sorry, it takes a second. Hang on. Uh, but then the uh, the, the oh, sh another one. <laughs> so sorry, I'll get back. Anyway. Oh, there we go. Fine. Oh, sh always an extra one. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. So, so I'm doing the ball thing, and, they, and these kids are freaking out, right? And they rush the stage. A bunch of seven-year-olds, they surround me, they're sticking their hands in my pockets. <laughs> and what we're taught to do is to do this. As a performer, if a kid's are surrounding you, you have to do this, put your hands up. Even though their hands are in, in they, they're in there looking for balls and finding them, right? <laughs> And that's, this is my defense. This is what they taught us. I said, why is this the thing? And they said, well, we, we want to make sure you're not touching the kids. You got to prove that you're not touching the kids. Which on the surface, good idea. But like, if you ever go to a party and there's a magician, there's kids in his pockets and he's like this, right? So arrest that fucking guy right away, right away. Do we have any kids in here? I didn't even ask, do you have a few? Then however, however old you are, I meant younger than that. I do have a couple tricks for kids that I like to do. Uh, I'll, I'll perform one right now. Um, this one's a good one. I'll perform this one right now. I'll, I'll use this guy again. You don't have to get up. So what's your name? Cody. Oh, sorry. I better do this. What's your name? <laughs> Cody. That's a cool name, Cody. <laughs> Cody, what's your favorite color? Blue. I love blue. <laughs> Cody. OK, Cody, what's your favorite dinosaur? Tyrannosaurus Rex. They're awesome. Yeah, Cody. Hey, Cody, how old are you? Okay, they never say that, but um, <laughs> this should still work. <laughs> All right. Cody, blue, Tyrannosaurus Rex, 37. <laughs> Normally, Cody, if I know those things about you, I could pick exactly what card you'd name if you were asked to name a card. I think this is your card, Cody. Cody, say a card nice and loud. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. <laughs> Thank you. For the kids, for the kids. <laughs> All right, who here likes balloon animals? Ooh, trick question. I hate balloon animals. They suck. They're brutal. <laughs> but when you're a magician, you have to learn everything. So here you go. Boom! I hate them because they're hard to do. I gotta buy a pump. They're really hard to blow up. You have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> yes, it is for balloon animals indeed. Miss, can you please examine this balloon? Make sure it is in fact a real balloon. Is it a real balloon? You can shuffle it if you want. That's a magician joke. She just wiggled it. It was weird. Right. <laughs> this is a real balloon, yes? Then how come I can do this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not important. <laughs> That's not the trick I meant to show you. A clown from Cirque du Soleil showed me how to do this uh, years ago and I haven't been able to stop. So here we go. All right. I hate balloon animals, but I do like this. Watch this. Oh my God. I gotta get a pump. You wanna hit this? You can. Oh yeah. So I can only make snakes and eels. <laughs> no, for real. Balloon animals suck. I hate them so much. I'll never do them my whole life ever. But there's a thing out there called sword swallowing. Too dangerous, don't do that. But this is kind of like sword swallowing, but stupider. <laughs> Buckle up, this is really gonna happen. <laughs> you paid your money, here you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, it's not coming back. <laughs> so, I feel that tension. No, not, I feel like I could flow in the air and set myself on fire, and you guys are like, where's the balloon? <laughs> no, it's gone. It's not coming back. <sighs> Anyways, don't tell my mom I did that trick. <laughs> she knows. She taught me. Um, but this isn't just a... <laughs> With, with my magic show here, I, I, I do need some audience participation. This is not me up here deep-throwing balloons all day. Now he's back. He finally came back. He's good. Sir, they just rejoined us. What's your name? Curtis. 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 You're my first participant in this show. You don't even have to get up. You can stay right where you're seated. Curtis, sit down. You're good. You don't have to go anywhere. I just need you, Curtis, to name a country in the world that you've either been to or you want to go to. Right? Like, let's get out of Canada, the States. Let's get, let's get creative here. Name a country you might go to on a vacation one day. Did you say Africa? Yeah. Who's going to tell him? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Curtis? You just, you just go ahead and enjoy your night. <laughs> uh, gonna, any geography majors on this end? <laughs> this guy, name me a country, please. Australia. Now, I didn't ask you to say Australia. I didn't come to you before the show and say that, and we didn't know that was going to happen, so it's a lot of... <laughs> Australia. Don't make this weird. That is Brazil. <laughs> if you're clapping, you don't know your flags. <laughs> Okay, you were wrong. So far, over two. Uh, guy at the very end, a country, please. Ireland. Ireland. Oh, not a flag. Hang on. There we go. France. We'll try one more. Did I hear Lithuania? Good one. <laughs> Okay, I only have two flags. <laughs> okay, that trick only works one out of six shows. 
The guys are like, why do you keep doing it? Because you should be at that other show. <laughs> but I do it because I want you to know what it's like to be a magician. Being a magician is sometimes just weird preparation and waiting. <laughs> right? Every day when I leave my house, show or no show, I shove two flags down my pants. <laughs> you can be a magician too. <laughs> Someone here should try this. You might wait a week or a month or a year, but one day someone's like, I think we might go to France next year, and you get to be like, oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a miracle. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually stalling a little bit. I want to show you guys something that's uh, extremely difficult for me to do. Um, I recently uh, decided to give this a try. Again, it had been 16 years since I tried it last time. And uh, I'm trying to adjust this here a little bit. Now, it's, uh, it's not a magic trick, but my success rate is about 30%. Would you guys like to see this? Yeah. Okay. It is a bar bet. And uh, <laughs> it goes like this. The guy takes the... A little bit too full. That looks better. Okay. I put the beer on my head. Now, the goal will be, if my head stops sweating, the goal will be to drink this beer without touching it again with my hands. All right? So the only way to do that is carefully. <laughs> Hang on. Sweaty head. All right, here we go. We'll try it. Here we go. Now, 30% success rate. <laughs> Unless you count hurting myself, then it's 100%. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so I got to get to the ground. And then it gets harder. <laughs> So now, now I have to use my knees to grab it. Jeez. Magician actually uses tape on their show, so you guys are getting a sweet deal. <laughs> can you help me rip a piece, please? Actually, I can even need a big one. I got this one. I need you to help for the next one. Hang on. Let me, let me get this. Hang on to that. Okay, so I gotta fix this shirt. Magic stripper. I forgot what job I was doing. <laughs> some people were leaning in, some people were leaning out. You guys have a hard time explaining this to your, your friends tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you swallowed a balloon, ripped your shirt off, it's a great magic show. <laughs> some, guys, some guys have learned a lot about themselves tonight. All right, hang on. Gotta, can you give me a piece that's exactly eight inches, please? <laughs> like, exactly. Holy crap. <laughs> Can you stand up? I want to measure this, sir. <laughs> oh, she held the table up like this. That was really interesting. Okay. 
You can explain that to him, okay. More of his This is so stupid. Okay. Come on, like this. Maybe like that. Oh, it's gonna be messy. One more piece? Yeah. Okay, good guy. Okay. okay. <laughs> we can finish the show now, I think. Maybe. What was your name? Sam, thanks for helping me, Sam. And who are you sitting next to, Sam? Matt. I'm gonna get Matt up here in a second. <laughs> yes, we did it. The show must go on, right? I think we look pretty good. Did we do it? Oh, this is annoying. What the hell is that? There we go. Oh, what time are we at? Right. Matt, get up here for a second. <laughs> Matt, climb right over the top here. Let's go. Come on, Matt. Clap your hands for Matt. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quick bit of mind reading, Matt. Sure. How old are you? 33. 33? <laughs> and where did you go? Where were you living when you were in high school? Kelowna. Kelowna, 33. If I know those two facts, I could guess any celebrity you'd name if you were asked to name a celebrity. So. Go for it. Name a celebrity? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, Matt. That's all I needed. Great job. Let's see, Matt. <laughs> you got your phone on? You got, can you do a stopwatch on your phone? Someone in the front row here who's got, yeah, you got your phone in there? Maybe pull out, uh, the, pull out the stopwatch part of it. You know how to do that? Yeah, get to the stopwatch. And we're going to try something here real quick. I'm going to leave you guys with this. It, it, it is uh, maybe one of the most impossible things that I do. I've been playing with this a lot lately. Rubik's Cube, right? This Rubik's Cube goes down here. Hang on, catch. Here we go. Uh, mix the Rubik's Cube. Mix it up. You got your stopwatch over there. What was your name? Amanda. Amanda's got a stopwatch. And who's this over here? Haley. Haley's mixing the Rubik's Cube. Now... Amanda, you're going to time me because if I just solve a Rubik's Cube, no matter how fast it is, it's not that impressive because you're not racing against anything, okay? Now, Rubik's Cubes are impossibly hard to solve, especially quickly. You have to know so many algorithms and there's so many combinations and Amanda's, or Haley's mixing them up. Uh, Amanda's got the stopwatch, right? Now, we're gonna set a little, a little bar so we know how fast I have to go, okay? So you're gonna time me uh, as I drink this. Okay, we'll see how fast it takes me to chug this pitcher and then I'll try and beat it with the Rubik's Cube. Yeah, you ready? Thank you. How did I do? 13 seconds. We're rounding up. 14 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Please, throw me the Rubik's Cube on the count of three. No, I'm kidding. All right, you're good. Okay. Not only will I solve this Rubik's Cube in under 14 seconds, I will also do it without looking by sticking it inside this bag. <laughs> Thank you. Please, get your stopwatch ready. Are you ready? It's very mixed. Nicely done. You ready? Go. <laughs> How much time do I have left? It's confusing in here. Ha <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. How fast? You're just not, you're not impressed. You, I know, yeah, there's no. I will really do it. Let's get the stopwatch ready. I'll really do it. I just get a chance to look at it for a second. So I got six, uh, 14 seconds, right? Let me check this out. Let me check it out before we start. Hang on. All right. Ready? Oh, my God. I'm too drunk for this shit.
Oh, you want to see another? This is my favorite thing about magic. You guys are like, yeah! Another one, please. <laughs> Chernobyl rate's insane. OK, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually stalling a little bit. I want to show you guys something that's uh, extremely difficult for me to do. All right, one more thing before I get out of here. I have a straight jacket here. I'm going to switch over to this mic real quick. Now, the thing I've noticed about straight jackets is a lot of magicians started doing straight jacket escapes. It was made popular by Houdini like 100 years ago. If you want to see a straight jacket escape, you can see any number of magicians do a straight jacket escape. I did, I did one of these on America's Got Talent one time, and uh, I'm not going to do it for you guys today. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to do something even more impossible, something better, something that nobody else does in the whole wide world, because many people do a straight jacket escape. No one does what I'm about to do. Magicians are kind of lonely, you know, in general. Like, what if you don't have any friends? How do you learn to put on a straight jacket? What I'm showing you guys tonight, I'm the only person in the world that does this, and that is, I'm going to get into a straight jacket by myself. <laughs> I promise you, it is as stupid as it sounds. Matt, do you have your phone on you? Pull your phone up for a second. You're going to do the timer for us? Okay, you're going to, you're going to time me every 15 seconds you shout out. 15, 30. All right, hang on, let me. Don't rush the stage. Okay, um, here we go. Okay. Everyone together from five to one, and then we start. And Matt, you're shouting out every 15 seconds. Sound good? I normally, I can escape a straight jacket in 45 seconds. I'm gonna try and get into it in under 90. Five, four, three, two, one. Now I can do a straight jacket escape in 45 seconds, so I should be able to get into it in 90. <laughs> it end a set like this, right? <laughs> it's very few people's dream to be stuck in a straight jacket, <laughs> but it is mine. Do you think we run this back and I get out now? What do you think? <laughs> Should only take me a few seconds. Count me down, please, everybody. Here we go.
Thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Take care, everyone.